Hi, I'm Sarah from South London Sling Library and today I'd like to talk to you about using the Manduka XT with a slightly bigger baby. The demo doll that I've got today um, is around about the size of an 18 month old or maybe a tall 12 month old depending on the size of your baby. Um, I had tiny little babies so this is about the size of a two year old for me but yeah about around about 18 months. So with the Manduka XT I'm going to turn it upside down and hold it by the waistband. At the waistband here, you can slide the body panel along the waistband to make it the right size for your baby. So for a teeny tiny baby, you'd slide it all the way into the middle. Um, it will hold a baby from about somewhere around eight to six weeks, um, six to eight weeks, depending on how big your baby is, um, and up through to around about the age of three, maybe even four, again, depending on the size of your baby. So you can just slide those out until they're the right size. They slide out on both sides and then flip that waistband in towards you and put it roughly where you want your baby's bottom to sit on your body. So I'm gonna put it just, uh, just below my natural waist, kind of the top of my hips. Um, it kind of depends on uh, the length of your torso and the height of your baby. So it will be different for everybody. There isn't one right place to put the waistband. So it's about finding that spot for you. Now I'm going to get my baby. This is Sam. So I'm going to hold Sam here where I've got the waistband and I'm going to just lift Sam's legs around me wrap the legs around me so that, just like you would if you were just gonna carry a baby this size in your arms, um, you would wrap their legs around you because what it does is it distributes their weight around your body more effectively. So if you do exactly the same as you're putting them in the carrier, it just makes it easier to get them in that good position. Then I'm gonna slide a hand under the body panel of the carrier and just smooth it up Sam's back. And then I'm gonna pop the straps over my shoulders. Right, supporting Sam with one hand, I'm going to take my free hand through the small of my back to the strap on my opposite shoulder. So I've gone underneath this strap to the strap on my opposite shoulder and I'm going to pull that to the floor first. What that does is it anchors it on the bony part of my shoulder. I don't want it riding up into my neck muscles. If I just get hold of that strap and pull it across, what happens is that strap then goes into my neck muscles and will be uncomfortable. So I'm going to pull to the floor first, then bring that strap low around my body to the buckle on this side. I'm going to buckle it in there. I can then, excuse me Sam, mind your hand, pull backwards to tighten. And then I've got a little strap as well that I can pull forwards. That forwards pull is often a slightly easier action. So with the Manduka, you've got both. Use that as your main adjustment, and then that's like fine tuning. And then all I'm gonna do is swap the hand supporting the baby, use my other hand through the small of my back to the strap on my opposite shoulder. I'm gonna to pull to the floor first, then I'm gonna bring it low around my body to the buckle on the, on the side, buckle it in, pull backwards to tighten, and then, excuse me sir, find my little strap and pull forwards to fine tune. If I need to, I've then got these on my shoulders as well. This is the perfect fit adjuster, and you can see you've got a little bit of slack there. If I get hold of my perfect fit adjuster, I can then just pull that to the floor on both sides, and that just helps to kind of snug everything in. It makes an awful lot of difference. Don't never underestimate a perfect fit adjuster. There you go. So if I wanted to, there is a sleep hood just tucked in the back of the panel, body panel here. There you go. So if Sam fell asleep and I needed to support their head a little bit more, I could take this um, sleep hood and it's got a little elastic loop on there and it can clip just onto the plastic clip, which I can pull forwards, clip it on, and then push it backwards if I need to. I'm just gonna um, uh, hold the back of Sam's head, leave, uh, leave their face clear so that I can monitor them. Um, if I needed to, 
I can undo that. There we go. I could take this side, so across Sam's head that way, and then loop it onto that loop. That, that just gives a slightly different fit to the sleep hood. The other way to use the sleep hood is to take those loops under the strap, pull it around and fasten it to the button. Some people find that's a little bit more useful. Um, and what you can do is, again, I would always like to leave baby's face clear. What you can do is keep one low and then use the other one slightly higher up on the strap on that side to do that as well. Oh. If uh, Sam is not sleeping, we're out and about and Sam wants to see what's going on. I can also change the height of this body panel. It's easier to do when the baby's not in the sling, but we can try if I loosen off. Are we loose enough, Sam? Yeah, and then I'm gonna unzip this section here and I'm gonna take that out completely, like that. And what I can then do is, if this is loose enough, I can then zip the lower section to the top section, like that. And do, can I do it? Is, it? is it loose enough? Yes, I can, look at that. Oh, I can then get that done up. There we go. And then, because that, what that does is, can you see how it's lowered the body section? If Sam wanted to, oh, Sam could bring an arm out over the top of the carrier like that. And I'm gonna snug that up a little bit more so we're as comfortable as we can be. There you go, so take some of the pull out of it. Yeah, so Sam could get one or both arms out over the top of the carrier, which allows them to then turn around so they can see a little bit more of, of what's going on. So for example, if we were at an aquarium or at the zoo um, and they wanted to look around and see what was going on, um, then they can do that. So to take the baby out, all I'm gonna do is support Sam's weight, unbuckle at one side, swap hands, unbuckle at the other side and drop the carrier down. Get the baby out. The Manduka XT does a really good hip carry and would literally hold Sam in this position as well if I wanted to, um, but I can also back carry with it. Um, it goes, it fits from about six to eight weeks up to somewhere around the age of three. This most definitely has a lot of growing room left in it, even with, with this one. Um, so yeah, it would definitely have, have options. Thankfully, the demo dolls don't get bigger. Um, they just stay as they are. Uh, if you'd like to borrow a Manduka XT, you can find them at southlondonslings.myturn.com. If you'd like to find out more information about how the sling library works, both during lockdown and outside of lockdown, you can find that information at southlondonslings.co.uk. I hope that helps. All the best. See you soon. Bye.